Hey, 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 everybody, and back to another week of UTL Highlights. We are at week four, and this week we're racing at Advorton Speedway, 45 laps on the Scott Dye designed track. Coming into the week, Ian with a commanding lead on the league. Three races, three wins. He's got 33 points. The closest competitor behind him, Andy Korzak, eight points behind him. Then everyone else stacked up pretty closely. Scott, only two points behind Andy. Dibs, only two points behind Scott. Alex, three points behind Dibs. Isaac, two points behind Alex. Hunter, one point behind Isaac, bringing up the bottom of the league coming into week four. What's going to happen is... Ian going to pull out another win? Is someone else going to upset his winning streak? And can Hunter or Isaac or Alex pull themselves out from the bottom of the league? Here we go. Start of the race. This is a short racetrack, about 30-second lap times. Uh, your, your ideal lap times are going to be a little bit shorter than that, too. Turn one into the hourglass. Turn two into the jump. And lap one, jump one, Alex Hetu's going to miss that jump. He's going to have to reset through the half pipes onto the bumps. And what you're going to see here is the bumps are going to be a great area to potentially pass. You want to be able to make that jump over both bumps if possible. You're going to lose time otherwise through the poles, and that's going to be the start-finish line. That is the entire track right there here at Adverton. A little bit of separation after lap one. Ian leading the way, but a few other people close behind. And as we come through the poles on lap two, it's going to be Ian and then Dibs, Andy and Scott in third and fourth, Hunter and Isaac in fifth and sixth after hitting the sides a little bit. You see Isaac scrape up on turn one as well. And then Alex has about that much time to make up. That's not going to help him. The next lap, lap three, he skews the jump a little bit. He's able to save it and keep going. Meanwhile, a couple laps ahead, lap five, Scott and Andy fighting for third place. These two are pretty much neck in neck. A couple seconds Lost here and there, and he's going to pass Scott on the jump, but then he's going to lose a little bit of time on his line going through the half pipe. Scott's going to take that jump a little bit better, and then Andy, oh no, he's going to flip over and have to reset on the bumps. That's going to set him back a little bit. Hunter's going to pass him there uh, for the fourth position. Well, Dibs and Ian up front, Dibs leading Ian, that separation, they're neck in neck. One lap later, Andy on those bumps again. He's going to almost flip. He's going to grind a little bit, lose some more time. That same lap, lap seven, Alex flips over. He's going to get lapped then, having a bad start to his race. Andy, one lap later, lap eight. Oh, can't quite get those bumps down. Grinds a little bit on the outside. Scott on that same lap is going to flip going through the half pipes. That's going to let Hunter and Andy by. There goes Andy by him. Alex, same lap, on the bumps, flips again. He is well behind now. Isaac, he's going to get lapped there. He's in sixth position right now, but somehow manages to land that jump where he started off sideways. Andy and Scott now fighting for fourth. Hunter had gone by them in the third position. Meanwhile, they're looking not to get lapped by Ian and Dibs fighting for the lead. All four of them packed up here on lap nine when all of a sudden dibs has his game minimized he goes over the edge he's going to lose a lot of time there have to reset try and chase ian back down andy meanwhile gets a little bit of a better line through the half pipes and on the jump but scrapes aside and both andy and scott are going to go one lap down there next lap andy misses the jump scott's going to go by Scott in the fourth position now, but then at the checkpoint, Scott flips over and lands on his wheels. He's able to back out, but that's going to make up all that time that Andy had given him. Lap 12, Alex grinds on the jump. He resets. He knows he's not going to make that jump. And then that same lap, Andy's going to catch Scott for that fourth place fight. These two guys just can't get enough of one another. 
going at it less than a second separating them. Alex, next time through, he's going to make that checkpoint at least and then go into the corner. A few laps later, Andy had put some separation between him and Scott. Runs into the checkpoint, though, gives up that time, and Scott is right back on him. They're both battling for the fourth position. Isaac on lap 19. I'm sorry, lap 18. He's going to lose a little bit of time on the jumps and the poles. He's going to go two laps down, but then Ian gets distracted, misses the jump. He's going to give that lap right back to Isaac and let Dibs by. One lap later, Isaac, another mistake on the jump. Dibs goes by. He is two laps down officially now. Alex almost flips on the bumps on lap 21, but is able to save it. Still well in last. Dibs chasing down Hunter here now on lap 22. Hunter's going to go one lap down. Only Dibs and Ian on the lead lap now. Alex, that looks like a replay of the last time around, but it's not. He almost flips again on the bumps. There are Scott and Andy a lap ahead of them. But Andy's going to flip on the bumps. So as we reach the halfway point here, you're going to see Alex and Scott go by. Alex, two laps down in last. Scott, one lap down in fourth. That's Dibs. That's your leader right now. Followed shortly thereafter by Hunter, who is one lap down. He's in third place. There's Andy, two laps down. Ian, the only other person on the lead lap, and Isaac, two laps down. So Andy and Isaac, the closest two cars to each other. But when it rains, it pours for Andy Korzak. He's going to miss the jump on the very next try. And then one lap later, he's going to scrape off those bumps. He's going to right himself, but that's going to let Alex catch right up to him. And they are now in a fight for sixth place. Isaac on lap 26. He's going to flip off the bumps and not quite land that one. That's going to put him three laps down at that point. Alex catches up with Isaac. On lap 27, also on lap 27, Hunter flipping at the checkpoint. That's a heartbreaker. That's going to let Scott catch up to him and pass him for the third position. Dibs is going to go by. That's going to put him two laps down. He's racing to catch up with Scott, but a bounce off the jump. That's going to put him a few seconds behind Scott now. Scott's going to go two laps down on the bumps and a little bit behind them. Alex and Isaac fighting for fifth place. Andy behind them now in last. Andy gets into the corner in the half pipes. He's going to lose some time there, putting a little bit more of a gap between him and the two people in front of him. Dibs gets into the pole. Uh, small mistake. And you're going to see Alex on lap 31 here. He's going to get by Isaac finally. He's going to put a little distance in between him and Isaac. But... One lap later, he's going to fall off those bumps, and he's going to let Isaac and Andy right by again. On the half pipes, trying to make up some time, gets a little offline. He's going to lose a little more time as Alex now back in the rear. We're going to go to lap 37. Andy's going to put the pass on Isaac, get into that fifth position on the bumps. That same lap, Scott has a near disaster on the bumps. He's... Going to land on his wheels, though. That's going to let Hunter have a chance at catching him. Lap 39. Andy almost slips on the bumps as well. And then here comes Isaac. And there is Alex. All three of them so close. Five, six, and seven. Those positions all up for grabs right now. On lap 40, Isaac's going to mistime that jump. He's going to fall to last in that battle for three. While Andy and Alex keep fighting for it. Scott on that same lap. Going to grind that half pipe, that second turn on that half pipe. That's going to let Hunter catch up to him and not quite pass him on the jumps. 
yet, but that's a battle for third. Lap 41, one lap later. Alex gets the better line. He's going to pass Andy on the half pipes. Andy making up some time. But Andy's going to short jump that one. That's going to put Alex in that fifth position. And then he's going to bounce off. He's going to hit the pole. That's Dibs going by him. So now Andy and Isaac four laps down. Hunter, lap 42, passes Scott on the bumps, takes third place away. Alex, lap 42, he's going to flip on the bumps. He's going to reset. He's going to go four laps down. Andy goes by. Isaac goes by. Alex back in the back once more. One lap later, lap 43, on those bumps, Scott passes Hunter, takes that third place away again. And then Alex, making some strong time, is going to catch Isaac just based on pure racing. He's going to pass him on the bumps. He's going to make that jump right there and get sixth place. Dibs is going to come home the winner, leading most of the race. Huge lap times, making up those 11 seconds or so that he lost when his game minimized. Ian coming in very strong second. And as you see, these people go by everyone at least two laps down. Alex is going to make it interesting as time is about to run out. He hits that pole, but that's not quite going to give Isaac enough time to catch up to him. The final order for your race today. Dibs gets his first win. He puts Ian in the worst position he's been in all season, and that's second place. Scott manages to hold on to third against a hard-charging Hunter, who comes in fourth, bouncing back from a couple of last-place races. Bringing up the rear, winning that fifth-place battle ended up being Andy, then Alex, and Isaac in seventh. Next week, where are we going? Next week, we're going to Simnoma, guys. 40 laps on Simnoma, and I hope that you will join us then.